Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. Excited to dive into this today because I have heard really good things about this. This is coming out of Penelope. This is their nine-year cask strength, barrel strength. Uh, I've got plenty of Penelope myself. I've been a, a fan of most of the stuff I've had from them. But this one has been getting some pretty solid reviews this year. Um, I think even uh, Fred Minnick said it might land in his top 20 of the year. So that's saying something too. So I'm going to crack this open. We'll see how it is. But a couple of things. Let me pour it. We'll let it open up. And then I'll tell you some basic information about the bottle. All right. And a big shout out to Dan Thrice for sharing this with me. Appreciate you, brother. I will right, we'll let that sit a second. So the Penelope 9-year cast strength, barrel strength. This is uh, obviously MGP juice. It's got an interesting mash bill here. So it's it's got four grains. You've got 85% corn, 10% rye. 2% is wheat and then 3% malted barley. So uh, not a lot in the barley and wheat department, but it is technically a four grain mash bill. The proof is gonna come in around 109 proof. And uh, one of the things that I think is really interesting about this bottle, I'm hearing very positive things about it, but I think one of the things that stands out the most to me is that it's a nine year and it's at barrel strength, but the MSRP for this bottle is only $70. I mean, I would expect a nine year barrel strength product to be at least $100 would be my ballpark. So for this to come in at $70 is extremely approachable from a, a price standpoint. I wonder if part of that honestly is just that Penelope is no longer like buying juice from MGP because MGP bought Penelope. So now uh, it kind of cuts out that extra layer of transactions, which elevates the price so now that mgp owns penelope they can kind of help mitigate those price points a little bit better and i think that this is a, a great way to sort of showcase that now obviously that deal happened uh was it last year right or the other alternative is that this was nine-year-old juice in uh you know in reserves there at mgp and now that they own the penelope brand they were like well let's just take this nine-year juice and put it under the penelope label boom so that could be why the price is a little bit lower. So let's get into this here. We'll see what we think. You know what the very first thing I thought of on the nose of this was? It's actually Sour Patch Kids. I literally thought sour candies, sweet and sour right on the nose. Well, that's interesting. Also getting a lot of like brown sugar and oak intertwined here, which is one of my favorite notes to get on a bourbon. It's a very traditional, you know, oak forward bourbon note that I get where it just smells like somebody took, you know, some coarse brown sugar and just rubbed it into, you know, the, the striations of the oak plank. You know what I mean? And that's the vibe I get on the nose of this too. That's great. Yeah, sour candies, brown sugar, oak on the nose. Love that. All right, let's go in and uh, give this a try, shall we? Cheers. Hmm. Man. You could tell me that this is a legacy Kentucky distiller product, and I, I would totally believe you. This has some wonderful traditional bourbon notes. I'm getting on the sides of my palate, like the sides of my tongue and the sides of my cheeks here, is where I'm getting some nice pepperiness, a little bit of spice there. But the tip of the tongue and down the tongue, all sweetness, that brown sugar, a little bit of honey. It's not like those dark caramel notes that I get on some uh, bourbons. It's more... Uh, those lighter sweet notes, like the honey and the brown sugar. But this has a great legacy Kentucky vibe about it, even though it's Indiana juice. This reminds me in a lot of ways of like a, a Russell's tenure in some great ways. I love the, the dichotomy here between the pepperiness on the sides and the sweet down the middle. And it reaches this nice balance too with the, the mouthfeel as well. It's not thick and oily and slippery, but it's also not... Uh, thin and runny either. It's, it's right there comfortably in the middle. So it's leaving a nice little coating on the sides of the mouth. Going in for my third sip, right on the back of my tongue, that's where I get that Sour Patch Kid, the sweet and sour note that I was getting on the nose. It comes through. I didn't get it initially. It took some time for my palate to sort of acclimate to this sip and understand the base core features of it. And then I can start peeling those layers back. And that sour candy note started to come through around sip three for me. I gotta say, I kind of get like a graham crackery note too, the more that I sit with this. That's great. I just love that. I gotta say, that is a very pleasant sip. And I think the hardest thing for me to wrap my head around is that it's only a $70 MSRP. Yeah, this is like 
Kind of a steal, I think. Yeah, I like that a lot. Hey, thank you so much, Damn Thrice, for uh, sharing this with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll enjoy the, the rest of this pour as well. Thanks for the big, like, jumbo-sized sample of this. But I would say uh, I'd put that up there with their toasted bottle, if not maybe a little bit better than that. So if you ever have the chance to grab a bottle of the nine-year barrel strength from Penelope, I think you should probably do it. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better bottle at that price point, in my opinion. Thanks so much for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, would you consider leaving a like in the video as that's the best free way to support the content here on YouTube. If this isn't your first time to stop by the channel and enjoy a video, uh, would you consider hitting the subscribe button? We'd love to see you around more often. And feel free to check out our Discord. We've got a wonderful community. People are always chatting about whiskey and life in general. We just have a good time hanging out. We do fun events like virtual bottle shares, things of the sort. And I'm looking forward to diving into day two of our current bottle share as we got through uh, four different bottles together on uh, the first night. We'll probably do another four in the next night as well. And I'm excited for it. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support and funding the bottles that we get to pick up and review here on the channel. Cheers, my friends. May you live richly and get better with age. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.